Hello guys, it's Dark Filter, and I'm just going to be do going over a quality tutorial that I use to get my videos up on YouTube. And basically, first of all, I use program Virtual Dub, and then Vegas Pro. Or if I'm using like a screen cap for Minecraft, I'll use Camtasia Studio. Um, obviously, you'll find Virtual Dub by searching on Google, or just getting Google Chrome to search it for you. Virtual Dub, enter. It should be, yeah, that's the website, click it. If I ever load, that is. And yeah, that's Virtual Dub. The uh, reason I use Virtual Dub is just because I don't think I get better quality with any other programs. They all seem to be quite bad. So yeah, let's load up the program and talk through, talk through it. How I use it. Obviously, I need to plug in my easy cap first, so just a second, and then power up my Xbox. Through. Should have been more prepared. Right, it's plugged in. Right, I'm back. Let's load up Virtual Dub and get on this shit. So first of all, you see that this is um, obviously Virtual Dub build 1.911 this is probably only going to work for that build because like in the future they'll probably change stuff like they have and basically to capture go file don't capture AVI click that and then there you go hmm so first set it up you go to your device and for me it's USB 2861 device direct show for dazzles I'm unsure but it will be in that tab so you just keep clicking along them until you get the right one and then you'll obviously have to set your um, region to the right format which is either PAL or NTSC for Americans so yeah and obviously your size of your screen I pick 720 by 480 because if I pick anything like if I go up to 576, it lags. And my cat's here. Hello. Um, apply. Okay. Then you'd go to Capture Filter. And see, I've got PAL60 selected, or you can have you know, all of these up to C5. That's what you should pick if you're American. And TSC. Underscore four three three. Just leave that as default. Leave that as as default, and that's basically the video part. So, apart from compression, when you go into capture, uh, I'll talk about that later. For audio, you leave that as your um, whatever you're using. I'm using my microphone line in because if you use the audio device, I get loads of crackles and stuff. So I just have it into the microphone part. Um, so you've got a raw capture format, you make sure it's the highest one. Yeah. And then on to capturing, just straight away capture. Before you start capturing, you should make sure your timing's right, which is the audio part of the video. So I just copy my settings out of there, pause it, get them down. Uh, yeah. So now on to compression, obviously. Initially, if you're going for a short recording, say so about half an hour to an hour, that's short for me. I mean, if you're like just going to leave it on, play Modern Warfare for an hour or so, and turn it off, you can you can go uncompressed. Because it's better to record uncompressed than compressed, rather than having your computer deal with recording and compressing at the same time. The less things you're going to make your computer do, the better your video, your overall video is going to come out. So this is how I would normally do it. So you'd pick no no recompression by your Y2. It's going to be about 70 gigs per hour. It's a bit big, but eventually you're going to press it down to about 400, I guess. No, not 400 now, about 4 gig for an hour, which is all right. Um, so yeah, select that, capture your video, and then file. Yeah, obviously you need to set your file. Set capture file. 
wherever. Just call, go to desktop, call it. Blah. Save. So that's going to start capturing now. Obviously, I'm gonna. It's gonna lag for me, but you'll see frames inserted. That should stay. If that builds up, you're doing something wrong. Obviously, but because I'm lagging. Anyway, stop that. So that's the video. After you've captured it, you go to exit capture mode, and you will find that video. Open video file. Since so it's desktop, blah. Open that up. Uh, so now we're onto the production of the video, which is essentially getting it out, producing it, and then you can put it in Zona Vegas, which is good. So, if so you go to video, you select your compression first. I normally go with this codec, and that will be, I'll give it in the description to go download that. So you go to configure it. Um, City profile level at unrestricted and code type at single pass and target quantity size at 3.70. Just copy the settings that I have, really, and click OK. And click OK. That's going to average around 400 megabytes for 8 minutes, which is OK. Then you go to filters, add. I'm going to also leave these two filters in. So basically, what a filter does is it's um, deinterlace and to smoother. Deinterlace is like when you've got two frames. When you're recording, you'll have two frames. One, one's the direct frame, one's the interlace frame, and then it'll compress them together. So the human eye, you don't see that, but if it's recording it, it'll capture that. So you select both of them. Um, Field only difference in edge directed 1500. Okay, and then for the smoother, uh, you click the smoother as well. I'm gonna put both of these in the description as well. Diameter threshold, just leave that as basic and click OK. You can see it should have changed in the left field, I mean the right field. This is the video before, this is video after. It's not showing very much. Huh? I'll take that out 75, 75. Um, so, yeah, after you add both those filters, you can set, um, obviously, make sure that's on full processing. Audio, make sure that's direct stream, copy in. Um, also, if you do have any audio lag, you can change the delay by minus if you want to take it back, or you just put no, minus if you want to take it forward, and then put. Um, uh, 100 or 200 to take it back. That's in milliseconds, obviously. So when you've done that, you'll uh, set it to save. And then obviously, um, desktop, blah, save. Uh, okay, we'll call it blah, two, or compressed. Save. Alright, that's done. And then we've got that done, so you can close down this program since you've got your video done and you've saved it. Um, just close that down. Open Sony Vegas. Um, ignore. Alright, so, obviously, do that's, that's my other one from the restored project, but you'll start a new file, which is whatever, and you'll copy these settings, which I'm going to go click on now, so, H, yeah, you click that one, HTV 720 by 30p, which is just 30p means that near enough the frame rate, I think, width is 1280 by 720, um, your pixel format can be 8-bit, it depends. If you're going for a montage, I would normally put it up to 32-bit because um, it deals with the colours better. But obviously you're going to get a you know, bigger file size and longer rendering time. So if you're just going for a video that you just want to put out there, 
and you'd leave it on 8 bit. Formation view, showing rendering quality, click on best, um, leave that on that, de list method, leave that on none since I've already de list it. Audio, you can either increase that if you want to, put that to best obviously, and that should be that. And obviously start on your projects with a setting so you don't have to do that every time, which is a bit of a ball like. Click OK. So let's find this clip, which is on his desktop, which is black compressed. So you're going to see it's got those big large black bars at the side of it, which we don't want, so we're going to go to switches. Tick off maintain expect ratio, that's going to stretch it out a bit. And then we're going to click on track motion. No, it's not track motion, it's um, event pan and crop. And you're going to crop it in, I think, to increase it. Oh, yeah. Make sure um, size about center is on. And um, lock expect ratio. No, not lock on space ratio, go to default, which you've already screwed that up. And then just sell it edge in until your borders have gone. Yep, yeah, it's good enough for me. There you go. So now we've got the video part essentially done. And obviously that's the audio track that's in there. Um basically you would just go to rendering or you can add if you're just Wanting to put this video out low rendering times, you won't put any uh, video effects in. But if you're going for something like you want to obviously make it look better, you put in a couple of color correctors. For me, I've already got um, a package set up which I could probably release to you guys, which is optimized settings. So I just click OK on that. And that's going to add um, saturation, adjust levels, and sharpen for me. Um, so yeah. So you can either add these by default, so you just add them in here, which is wherever it is, um, in FX. So you'd look for saturation adjust, which is here, and you'd look for levels, which is here, and you'd click on sharpen, which is here, and you'd adjust them to all these levels, sharpen. Each seven was the same, same one, same one, same one. Close that, and then you go to rendering. Rendering is obviously going to be the same for even if you try to do a bit a uh, basic video. Um, that's my upload folder, so I'll save this as quality test. Dash tut. Um, so you're gonna go to Sony AVC if you're not already clicked on it, and you're gonna create a new template. So you go, um, you go to whatever template you're on. It should be by default. You should be on this one. So you go to custom. They'll name it um, custom custom template, and then you'd name. Uh, Upload it to YouTube. That's that. Um, and then basically follow the settings. Leave the frame size as normal. Leave that, leave that, leave that. It depends if you're on... If you're recording PAL or not. I don't record 25 frames in PAL because it begins to lag for me. I have to go to 29.970. Uh, and keep the bit rate as 8 because that's fine for normal. Uh, for encode mode, you can select that, but you just leave it as that because there's no point for audio. Leave that as that system, leave that as that project. Um, you can always just make sure you click on best there, and then that's that. But since I've already got a setting done, I'll click click off that, go to mine, which is MP4 creation, go to custom. You can see all the things are the same, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same. I haven't named this. You go to save, obviously click save. Okay, and then you would click save.
And that's it basically for the tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, give, if you want me to make another one, I will do. Because this is just a rough cut. And yeah, thanks for watching.